I've thrown on the formal attire today because we need to discuss something very important. A huge loser named Bintelect. Big goofball, weirdo, lame-mo, behemoth creep. He is a big TikTok creator, and that's a word I'm using very loosely here, with 11 million followers, and I'm sure only people under the age of 10 have ever heard of him before. What he's become known for over the years is looking at tweets or comments, reading them out, and then going, Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally it. But sometimes it's a little hard to even muster a laugh, so what he'll do is he'll read one of the comments and then go, Yeah, true. And then that's the whole TikTok. But I'm not here just to give him a little wet willy and laugh at him for all of his cringe. I am here to talk about something far more degenerate. But before doing that, I'd like to give a quick honorable mention to something else this piss stain of a person is notorious for doing. Threatening legal action against people that make fun of him. I've seen a couple videos on Bintelect now, after I've been informed of the situation, so I did a little digging. Apparently, when people make fun of him, he gets super offended, and will either try and copyright strike, take down the video, copyright claim it to make money from it, or even go as far as to just threaten to sue the person that made fun of him. You disgusting goblin, you make me sick. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Now, while I do think a legal battle with Benjamin over me making fun of him would be hilarious, I still just don't really feel like showing you any of his clips because it's just going to rot your brain and it's, it's yucky. It's just trash. So, no reason for that. Let's get into what I want to discuss, the new information that came out about this weirdo. So, Bintelect recently made a podcast, I suppose, and he invited someone on named Jordan Max, and then things got really odd. He got super hostile and she ended up posting about it, which led to this dam breaking and we were flooded with cringe about Bintelec's behavior over the years with women. So this horny little goblin asks her before going on the podcast, do you want to make a video for OnlyFans? To which she says, when? He says, today. And then she's saying, no, you need to be tested within the last 14 days and have an OnlyFans creator account. But then he says, I mean a video for your page. Oh, what a benevolent saint. He was actually just thinking about her the whole time. He thought this would be a good opportunity for her to make some OnlyFans content with the great Big Ben Bintelect. So she says, doing what? And he goes, I don't know what performs best on your page. I can literally see him doing this. Well, I mean, I don't know what we do. I mean, I, what, what do you do on OnlyFans? Maybe we could do that? So it's, it's, it's become pretty clear that Bintelect uses this podcast as a way of just fucking. It seems to me like the whole podcast existence is only here as a way of trying to get Bintelect laid. So he tries to leverage his big follower account to then invite on OnlyFans models and then ask if he can make content with them. It's pretty pathetic stuff, but we're only just beginning. He continues by saying, I was just thinking you're helping me with doing a video for my YouTube, so maybe I could help you with your OnlyFans. And she replies, I'm good, thanks. So then he goes, no worries. And then, hey, I'm gonna do the pickle video with someone else, thanks, though. To which she asks, why? So the pickle video he's referring to is the podcast was going to be a pickle tier list mukbang or something like that. A pickle mukbang. And it was her idea. It was Jordan's idea. And he's now kicking her out because she declined to do an OnlyFans video with him. So his answer to why was, to be honest, I thought it would just be fun to film and see where things go, but I got it. So he gets real sad and pitiful, like, no, I, I get it. I just thought it'd be fun, but clearly it won't be fun. I'm gonna do it with someone else then, how about that? So he goes real Neanderthal mode here. My wiener no get wet, we no eat pickle together on podcast. Goodbye, how dare you not do OnlyFan video with Bintelect. So then he says he's doing it with someone else. So Jordan, of course, gets really weirded out by this exchange. She posts it on Twitter. And then Bintelect himself, the man, the myth, the legend, reaches out in DMs to threaten to sue her if she doesn't take down the post. She even did a video proving that the DM is real from the real Bintelect account, just to 100% silence any possible doubt. Also, her response to it is great. She said, I will just be waiting to hear from your lawyers then, <laughs> which is hardcore. Obviously, Ben's not going to sue her. I don't think he's ever actually gone through with a lawsuit. He uses it to try and bully people to do what he wants. To do what he wants them to do, rather. So, I don't think any lawsuit was ever coming. This was just a last-ditch Hail Mary from a desperate, lonely guy to try and get rid of the evidence of him being a creep. So, 
That was the whole interaction between Bintelect and Jordan, but after this tweet started popping off, well, the series of tweets started popping off, she then started getting DMs with more screenshots and more evidence of Bin Bintelec doing this to tons of different women. This comes from someone else who had a very similar experience to Jordan. So Ben opens with, do you work tomorrow? They say, crazy busy day, but I don't work. And then Ben goes, let's make some content tomorrow. Not like that, but just film a podcast. So he immediately alludes to like, oh, not OnlyFans type content. I'm talking about just a wholesome podcast, you know, one the whole family can enjoy. Doesn't get an immediate response, so he goes, what do you think? He then waits about two hours more and he goes, you're killing me, gorgeous. So fucking embarrassing, Jesus Christ, that's so fucking awful to read. Yucky. And then he gives her about three more hours and then he goes, you know what, I've been thinking about this OnlyFans thing. And I think, we can, I, think I could make us a lot of money, straight up. And then she finally does reply saying that she's just been busy taking a mental health day. So he... He can't even go more than, like, three messages without bringing up OnlyFans. It seems like the only thing on this guy's mind is sex and how he's never getting it, I guess, but is very desperate, too, and will do it by any means necessary to try and achieve coitus. From everything I can tell, Bintelect has never done any kind of OnlyFans content on his own or, like, any type of explicit content. He's just a professional TikTok giggler. All he does is giggle at Twitter messages or comments, and that's it. So, clearly he's not wanting to dip his toes into OnlyFans for the sake of becoming like an OnlyFans creator. He just wants to have sex with these women. And he's using his podcast as a vessel to try and do that, it seems. After she told him about the mental health day she was taking, he responds with, hey, thank you. And then the following day, at 6.52 a.m., so this guy must have been up all night masturbating because it seems like that's the only thing on this dude's mind, he sends her a message saying, do you want to come over tomorrow night? Actually, are you down to come over tonight? Or are you just a flake? Doesn't even give her time to respond, just immediately gets combative. He immediately just goes into fucking ballistic bin mode. So are you coming over tonight? Or are you just a flake? Huh? Are you just a fucking succubus? Huh? Is that it? Huh? So are you coming over tonight? And then he waits only like an hour and 40 after that. And then he's like, you know what? Okay, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Sorry, babe. But you're just too much of a flake. Bye. <laughs> So then obviously she's like alarmed, like what the fuck is going on? So she says, you know, if you wouldn't have texted me so rudely calling me a flake after one day of not texting you, you might have stood a chance. I can see why you're single now. Goodbye. Which really just sends Ben off the rails. Yeah, whatever. Go fuck yourself. Says the girl who's trying to make an OnlyFans. Good luck. Brother, all you talk about is trying to do OnlyFans content with them. It seems like you're trying desperately to get into OnlyFans but keep getting rejected and can't handle it. So how can you have the gall to try and shame them for it when you are desperately trying to do it yourself? Here's a wacky little Snapchat one. Do you want to come over here and spend some time with me? Because on a side note, I do think I could probably make us some money on OnlyFans. Bintelect fucks crazy into oblivion. That That's redacted right there, like a CIA document. I really wonder what he said. I think it's Bintelect fucks crazy pussy into oblivion or something. But I'm just going off of what I can see poking out from underneath the the redaction. I think that's what it is. But this is so goofy. He's speaking about himself in the third person in this one. And then he even tries bribery. If you come over, I'll give you a hundred or a thousand bucks. I just really want you. And they respond, I'm good right now. Don't try to bribe me with money. That's weird. And then he's like, oh, no, that is weird. But I want to see you. This one's a lot more vintage bin, so this was a different kind of relationship these two had as opposed to just the podcast OnlyFans hustle he keeps trying to run. So they start by saying, I guess it's just not meant to be. Bin says, facts, no hard feelings, but yeah, it ain't working. So then they part ways, or so it would seem. Bin has a couple of uh, parting words here. He says, for your future self, if you're going to turn around on a guy and say, hey, I'm not down for friends with benefits shit, just say that before go before you go through all the bullshit. Boring as fuck. Not my problem that you turned around and quit drinking because you're an alcoholic and now pass out at 8 p.m. Fucking peace out, bitch. So Ben really, he went, he went crazy. Uh, ben lost it. This man, he was punching pillows, sending these texts with tears in his eyes, and he got... Real nasty. They respond to it saying that they're far from an alcoholic and then Ben just keeps going crazier saying, No, you're an alcoholic, you're an alcoholic, and you're full of shit. And then he's like, Anyway, I'm I'm done. I just had to say that because you're full of shit. They respond saying that they weren't interested in being with Ben. 
and he should have taken the hint a while ago, but then Ben just, he goes absolutely berserk again. She says that she's wasting people's time and that she needs to just shut up and go to bed. And then she says, it sounds like you need some anger management help, which is a very fair assessment. I, I think he desperately needs some assistance with this anger management. And then Ben tries to flip this shit around like, how dare you? Are you kidding me? So he goes, be careful who you say that to, Maria, because there are people who really need help with that. So Ben lets out a gasp. <gasps> That's super disrespectful to say that to somebody. And also a very basic ass bitch thing to say. Benjamin, it's a very fair thing to say here. It's not disrespectful. You legitimately need some help. <laughs> like, it, it very much seems like you do. So then he then goes, you know, there's a reason you've been single for this many years and because no one wants you and no one cares about you. you you're full of shit. Basic, boring loser. He just goes on and on and even has this little monologue here that ends with him saying, God help any guy that you gets involved with that loose pussy because you're just lame. Mic drop ho. This guy just typed out mic drop ho. He just, he just typed that out. He's, he's over 30 years old. I think he's like 34 years old or something like that. I already forgot. This is a 30, this is a 30 something year old man. And he just typed out mic drop ho. To which she responds, I'm sure your TikTok fans will love the way you talk to women when I post these screenshots. And then he's like, you know what? Good luck. I stand by every single word that I just said to you. So, did he stand by every single word that he said? Let's look at his initial apology, which he deleted pretty shortly after posting it, and then also hid replies on. Let's look at his first apology. I've recently been accused of some heinous actions and would like the opportunity to share my disgust at these accusations. I'm a firm believer in the rights and equality of all humans, including women. <laughs> This, the, if that's not the biggest red flag immediately, I don't know what else is. I stand by the rights for all humans. And that does include women. Those creatures. I, I am including them in that statement because that's the kind of angel I am. It makes it sound like he's drawing a distinction between women and every other human on the planet. Like they're a totally separate species <laughs> that aren't included in humanity. What, a, what an absolute incomprehensible weirdo. I grew up in a home with three sisters and no brothers, so I learned very early on the importance, power, love, and abilities women have. They deserve to be cherished and uplifted and treated with respect, and that's how I live my life. I do not condone the statements or accusations that have suddenly been hoisted upon me, and I hope to speak to anyone who feels they have been wronged. He's actually going with the, I have sisters, I, I can't hate women, I have sisters. No, 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 I have three sisters. You guys don't understand. I could never do this to women. Like, you're misunderstanding. These are all baseless accusations. I have three sisters. I legitimately cannot be mean to women. And not only do I have three sisters, but my mother is also a woman. So you should see how ridiculous these claims are now, knowing this context with my three sisters and mother. So that should hopefully clear up all of the air here with these accusations. Like I mentioned, he did delete this apology post, but today he did release a new apology on TikTok. He released an apology video, so let's take a peek at that. Also, Ben, I know you're still watching. You probably plan on suing me if I show your apology video because you've employed this tactic before against other YouTubers. If they've shown clips of your content to make fun of you, you allege that it's stealing your work and you have a legal ground to take it down and come after them. You don't. That's not how that works. Me showing this is not any kind of violation in any way, shape, or form. So if you do try and sue me or copyright claim this video, copyright strike the video, anything like that, I will 100% respond with every single option at my disposal in order to follow this legal case through to its fullest conclusion. So let's check out your apology, brother. Hey guys, there's a lot being said about me on the internet right now, and I just wanted to clear the air. The first thing I want to say is I'm sorry to anyone that I've made feel uncomfortable. I love how nonchalant he is about this whole thing, just trying to downplay the situation. Like, eh, if I made any of you feel a bit icky, a little uncomfy, I'm super sorry. That wasn't my intention. You must have misunderstood. It's not what I it's not what I'm about. When in reality, he would snap, get aggressive, hostile, combative, anytime he was denied sex. I want to say to any girl who I've been rude to, whether through text or in person, that I'm sorry. I understand that me being sorry does not excuse that kind of behavior. I will continue to work on myself and do better. Thanks, guys. Behold, the first AI chat GPT written apology. 
This just ticked every basic box. There's really nothing of value here at all. Just like the quickest, weakest apology. And he's just going to go forward doing his little, look at this tweet. <laughs> like nothing ever happened. So that's kind of where everything's at. Dog shit apology, dog shit situation. This guy is a big old loser. So let's use this as a learning opportunity for anyone watching. Don't be like Bintelect. That's really about it. See ya.